In this question, the two stars have mass m and 2m and are separated by a distance d, which is large, so we can basically ignore the radii of the two stars. These move in circular orbits about their centre of mass and have speeds in these orbits u and v. The gravitational force on each star, due to the other star, acts inwards. And we can say here that f1 is equal and opposite to f2. While they're in these orbits, the stars must always remain on the opposite side of the centre of mass to each other, so the gravitational force is always pulling them towards the centre of mass to act as a centripetal force. Think about the centripetal force needed for these orbits. For each star, the mass, speed and radius of orbit are all different. Use all of this to work out the time period of the star's orbits.